This is the next EKG in our series. What we want to, first of all, if you look at the rate, rhythm, and access, you're looking at a pretty normal rate, just eyeballing it. I'm not going to count every single one of these. The access is fine. One and two are both facing upright. There's a P before every QRS. There's nothing irregular about this. However, you want to look over here at the side. You have these deep inverted T waves. Um, now, these are uh, what we call CNS uh, T waves. They usually indicate some kind of a brain injury or uh, brain dysfunction. So I would definitely uh, look out for that. Maybe the patient had a stroke, a hemorrhagic stroke, or something else, but this is definitely indicative of um, some kind of CNS disturbance. Um, it can mean ischemia as well, so don't just blow it off and think that it's not ischemia. It certainly can be. In this next EKG, you're looking at a rate that's a little bit bradycardic. You're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times six is 54. So this is sinus Brady. Whenever they're Brady, always look for third degree heart block. This one does not have that. All the PR intervals are the same. There's no variance in that. There's a P before every QRS and a QRS after every P. One and two are both upright. So it's normal access. Um, not really a whole lot else going on with this EKG. So there you have it, folks. It's a pretty simple EKG. The rhythm strips on the bottom are, um, there's three of them for you, and you can see the P waves quite clearly.